Hello, welcome to another PicKit Plus demonstration. I'm going to take you through um, how you program Microchip Picks from MPLAB X IDE, okay, for using a PicKit 2 programmer. Uh, for those picks that the MPLAB X suite doesn't actually support currently, okay. So PicKit 2 in the context of uh, uh, IDE. So what's the challenge we've got here? The challenge is many new picks aren't supported by MPLAB X or MPLAB E in terms of um, pick kit two. So if you've got a pick kit two, you're a bit um, out of luck. Or if you've got a pick kit three, you're gonna have to keep changing the firmware. And that's a little bit concerning as we all know. Typically they're 16F and 18F, the um, F15, F18, F19 in 16F class and the, K20, the K42, 83, Q10s and 43s are the ones that I know of, okay, are not supported. So we're going to program a K42 and show you how to do it, okay. The solution is to integrate a PicKit uh, 2 programmer within MPLAB X. It's very easy to integrate. There's no complex firmware changes needed. You just leave the PicKit 2 or PicKit 3 as it is. You don't need to change it. You, therefore, it leverages your current investment in your programmers. So it's quite green. It's very green. And it supports clone programmers. So, you know, it's not um, something that's specific to a particular type of programmer. So I'm going to show you how to program an 18F 24K42. Just going to flash an LED. All I'm going to do is create a quick project, configure MPLABX to use the PitKit Plus. I'm going to show you a PitKit 2 because that's what where the struggle is. But you could be a PitKit 3, and then we're going to review those results. Okay, all right. So let me just get started and show you what I've got. I've got a pick kit 2 laying on a board here, and I've got it attached in a programming port to an LED that's flashing, and we're going to flash that LED. So using pick kit plus, I'm just going to erase that part, um, and that's the last time we're using the GUI. Okay, so that's the Windows GUI. We're going to go into um, MPLAB IDE, and we're going to um, create a project. Okay, so new project. In a standalone project, put the um, ship name in to 24K42. Um, you don't need to select any tools yeah, because it's optional anyway. And then we're going to select uh, the XC8 as our compiler. And then I put the file name in. I'm going to use the same name as the chip. So that's going to quickly create our project for us. I'm just going to use uh, MCC to create um, the basic project to set the uh, oscillator and to set the um, port as an output. So very quickly, I'm going to I'm going to select the uh, internal oscillator and I'm going to set my port RA0 to an output, and then I'm going to select generate to generate the base code. And MPLABX IDE does a great job on this. So now I've got a framework of a project, and all I'm going to do now is just change my main.c, and I'm going to insert something that will flash my LED. So relatively simple. I'm going to use the IO toggle code and a wait. I've just um, pasted that in, and I'm just going to compile my project up, production build main project, to make sure it builds. I haven't yet programmed it because I've got to do that. Build successful three seconds. Well, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So once it's done that build of um, the program, I know I, I've got a good program. So I'm going to make my integration for PicKit 2. Select the project, right hand mouse button, properties. Select the building. Select execute this line after the build. Check and then insert the text that's in the um, comment of the YouTube video, but it's essentially calling the PicKit software, apply that and press OK. I've got my video down here. So we're gonna actually um, just move the screen about a bit so that we can see both things at the same time. There we go. I'm going to program it now by building my project. Then after it's built the project, 
it will then call the pit kit programmer and it will then flash the pit kit to to say it's active and now I have an LED that is flashing. I can then come back into my program. I will just change that to 1500 milliseconds just to prove to you it's working. And if you look on the left, the LED is flashing at a quarter of a second. It's now going to be flashing at one and a half seconds. So the integration is extremely simple. It's two actions in your project. I've made no change to that pick kit. Let me swap out the pick kit. I'm going to put in a home built clone. You've all got these. You've all built your own pick kit too in the past. And I'm going to program it. I've just pressed F11. It's reconnected to a um, pick kit plus um, through hole project and it's programmed it. Well, the beauty is I can take a pick kit three and plug that in. As you can see, I've now I'm just going to reprogram that. Press F11. The pick kit three, I think it's a clone look, flashes to say it's active, and now I've programmed that with a pick kit three as well. So. The purpose was to show you how to program a microchip PIC from MPLAB X using a PIC kit 2. I've done that. And uh, I've chosen a K42, which is not in the list. You can't do that from PIC kit 2 normally. So we'll call that a wrap.